Stolen houses. Right, the van needs the key. The van needs the key. Who has got the keys? Go and see. Someone's got the keys. Don't if you don't give him the keys, keys. Keys. Now, keys. No. Right, well, then we'll keys. be pushing no. it. I don't know. People will be pushing it and well, the van will get them. Go and get them. Someone's got the keys. these dirty racist people in this country oppress me and my family in this country i'm taking a tool i'm strapping up and i'm going house to house and i advise every migrant in this country if you grew up in this country and your document was taken away from you unlawfully strap up and go house to house and be santa claus in reverse yeah go down the chimney and take all the presents and give to your kid because your children deserve a life too not just theirs you're in this country, you're supposed to be documented and you're supposed to be able to work and provide for your family. They did it to me and they're lucky I didn't go from house to house and taking everything that they had. Yeah, it's a uh, freedom party umbrellas. Yeah. Migrant camp, um, as it continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger, while the state can, continues to ignore this problem, which is just escalating and escalating. It's unbelievable. Like there's more and more tents every single day. I mean, look at it. It's all down the streets. It's a complete migrant camp city. It's unbelievable. Shocking. And the government continue to ignore it and not do anything about it. Shocking. And uh, I hear how you doing so, Good. and I hear it every day, and it's it's shocking, um, unbelievable, um, oh, they, they, there's now part of those, part of those now are in the laneway, um, loads of tents here, um, unbelievable, unbelievable, and they don't want to be recorded, of course, because uh, they're all dressed in like. Armani tracksuits and stuff like that, you know what I mean? It's it's unbelievable. They're in the best of clothes. And look at this is happening constantly. This looks like it's for the long term. Look at this. Look at the dirt. Well, it's filthy. Unbelievable. This is class, it's the new normal in Ireland. The government wanted to just accept this and just get on with it. This is the new normal in the Republic of Ireland. Tenth city. Thousands of unvetted men just living in the city in tents. And this is class as the new normal. And we've just to get on with it. Look, I could walk on for hours. Like, look at this. Every day on the street. More and more and more and more. You have Roderick O'Gorman and the government to thank for this. You have the far left to thank for this. Helen. I want to say about the mass migration coming into Ireland at the moment, unvetted men, up in Ballyog and planted in right beside the school, Un unvetted men, Ille illegal, illegal immigrants coming in, coming in, they've tried to take me phone aren't me, not illegal, not illegal what I'm doing, it's a public place, and you want to say Helen about the unvetted men coming into the country, illegal men, unvetted men, Illegal men coming into the country, unvetted men coming into the country, it's an absolute disgrace what's going on at the moment, disgraceful. Illegal men coming into the country, being planted up in Ballyogan around schools. 